as creative people, we, we've got to stay creative. We, whatever, whatever way you bend and how things are changing around you, you've got to continue inspiring other creative minds to keep growing. You've got to be able to stand up and say, I know things are tough and they're going to get tougher. But don't stop creating because it was creative people that got us here. Creative people need to get us out of here so that we can reach beyond the next generations. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Oh man, it's difficult. I took three days away just to kind of replenish the mind, body, and soul. And man, this first step of, a, of the first structured workday, it's, it's, it's so difficult. Suddenly I have time limits around me. I've, I've got walls rather than windows. And, and, you know, is your heart prepared for the judgment of others? And can you handle the attacks of, where the hell have you been? It's not a weakness. It's just awareness. It's too easy to set all things aside because that's what you did on your little mini vacation. Your reason for stepping away from this thing, this habit that you do every day, which is work. Work is a habit, man. And we live off the energy of those habits. In all things that we do, making it through the mountain requires the strength of habits. Just admit that that's what the situation is. It's a habit. I write because that's my habit. Without writing, oh, I know who I once was. Writing keeps me from becoming. Through habit, I am visible. You know, it's like spirituality and religion. It's no different. By way of habit, we study. The physical part and the active part is what makes us visible. We've got to become physical. We've got to become active. I've got to see the message at work. Standing on the steps of the first day back to a work day. Reality never says, I think. It's got to be. I will. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. We just write because it's a habit. And in that process of understanding the habit, you learn, oh my God, there's something that can be said. There's something that can move. There is something within the levels of creativity that we're all given at birth that has the ability to shape to formulate, to energize, to empower, to grow. And when you see the beginning seeds of that one moment and how it can become this thing, then you start understanding that the paper that which you write upon was once a seed that sat there on the ground and had to fight its way through the dirt to get its first glimpse of sun. It caught the raindrops and there, and then started to grow its limbs. And from those limbs, the birds did come. You see what I'm talking about? There's a continuation around each and every one of us. This is The Daily Mess. Breaking free of what other people think. Removing opinion and judgment from the journey by way of identifying the truer self and not what's been painted into place. The mid-1990s, a co-worker asked others to stop judging me. He says, leave him alone. He's an artist. You know, in hearing him say that, It gave me permission and clearance to truly wear the vibrantly colored clothes that I was, saying the weird spiritual junk that I was, and sporting very, very long hair. Through the co-worker's opinion and judgment, I was going to be that artist he said I was. Now I had to live up to it. Those steps of change are in the daily writing. 25 years later, I can't help but wonder if what I became were his words and not my choice. What if I hadn't accepted his defense? If I truly was that weird guy that wore a single feather in his left ear because it sported his spiritual beliefs. That weird guy. But I was never okay with it. What if I faced the image in the mirror without the weight of my self-judgment and opinion? It's the old what-if factor. The other side of the coin. Flip it. Which side are you going to go with today? Breaking free of what other people think. Let's turn it around. Breaking free of what you think of who you are. Breaking free of it. To hear somebody in the mid-1990s say that, oh, he's just an artist. Leave him alone. 
That was a permission slip. That gave me permission to be in the hallways when I should have been in the classrooms to understand why there was such weirdness. Did I really want to be seen? Did I really want to be heard? I was an introvert and I still am today until I get behind a microphone. Why couldn't I identify with the artist before being told by someone else that I was an artist? And have I spent the past 25 years of my life trying to live in shoes that didn't really belong to me? Are you in the same boat? Did somebody say to you, this is who you are. This, this is why you are. This, this is how you became this. Well, if that is what you see, then I must be. Only to learn when you look over your shoulder. I don't think I really was. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.